Miami Dolphins has committed to Tua Tungavailoa, and it will be sad when the veteran has to sit on the bench. Fitzpatrick also recently wanted to play more regularly, which means, Dolphins will definitely not be his dream home anymore. But while rumors directed him to the Patriots, I have another source reporting that 90% Fitzpatrick is going to Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos are likely to be in the market for another quarterback before the 2021 season begins. Whether that is for a new starting quarterback or a backup to Drew Locke remains anyone's guess. Some fans feel the team should stick with Locke for at least one more season, while others would like to see George Patton trade for Deshaun Watson, even if that means giving up the team's first-round draft pick in each season until 2030, sarcasm, kind of. The most logical move might not be trading for Watson or any of the suddenly disgruntled quarterbacks around the league. Instead, the Broncos should give Locke at least one more year under center and bring in a capable veteran to back him up and possibly even push him. Ryan Fitzpatrick fits that description perfectly. Fitzpatrick has played for eight different NFL teams since being drafted in the seventh round of the 2005 draft. Most recently, he was a perfect fit for the Miami Dolphins, nearly helping the team to the playoffs while also helping develop rookie Tua Tagovailoa. There is absolutely no reason that Fitzpatrick couldn't be of the same service to Locke in Denver. He is the ideal placeholder or bridge quarterback. He could help Locke in many, many other areas as well, including game film and with the playbook, which Locke supposedly had issues with. If Locke should falter, then the team could turn to Fitzy in the exact same way Miami did this past season. Fitzpatrick is a proven veteran who can come off the bench and make all the throws. He doesn't wilt under pressure and is an absolute gunslinger. Despite being a backup for most of his career, he currently ranks 30th in league history with 34,977 career passing yards. Fitzpatrick would be the perfect backup. This move would show that the organization is not throwing the towel in on Locke, but that it is bringing in a guy who is capable of taking his job and holding it until the team can get another potential long-term player at the position. He would be a massive upgrade over Jeff Driscoll or Brett Ripien. Should Locke get injured again, as he did early in 2020, the team would have a much better option to come in and take the reins. I understand the argument to trade for Watson but in my opinion, the return the Houston Texans would be looking for is far too rich. I will also reiterate that the Broncos are not a quarterback away from a Super Bowl, though many will likely argue that point. In short, the team should not give up on Locke, Locke right now but rather, look to bolster the spot behind him. Perhaps trying to light a fire inside the young Locke would help produce the results the team is looking for.